Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Avery. If you're new, I am a holistic nutrition health coach. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my walking pad slash treadmill. And I've had it for over six months now, so I thought it was time to do a little review. I've actually had two different kinds. So I will be going over the one that I first purchased and the one that I have now, and I'll tell you why I decided to go with a new one. I've been seeing all over TikTok, all over social media, these like, under the desk walking pads you can get your 10,000 steps a day sounds amazing sounds right up my alley because i can seriously sit on my butt for eight eight plus hours a day if i wanted to so if i can get some more movement in throughout the day sign me up so i ordered a walking pad it was this walking pad on amazon i think it was like one 50? I actually don't know. Let me see exactly how much I paid for it. This is the first one that I got and I paid, mm, oh, $200. It's on sale right now for $119 if you're interested. I really didn't want anything fancy. I just wanted a basic walking pad. This one goes up to 3.8 miles per hour. It doesn't incline or have any fancy features like Bluetooth or anything like that. Just a pretty standard walking pad. So I had this for about up until like a few weeks ago and I really loved it. I was kind of wishing that it had a bit of an incline because I don't know if y'all have seen the 12 330 craze and just like walking on an incline is just, you know, a little bit better. You burn more calories you kind of work a slightly different muscle group and you just kind of sweat a little bit more. It's a little bit more intense. So I think I was missing that incline and then there were moments where I really wanted to do like a jog or a run instead of just walking. Like you can go to kind of like a fast paced walk at the 3.8 but it wasn't gonna go above that and I did really wish that I could go for a little jog or something if I wanted to. And of course I can just like go outside for that but I like being in the AC in my home so um, I was missing that. So the new treadmill that I purchased. Let me look it up. Okay, so this is the new treadmill that I have and it does have an incline and it does go above 3.8 speed. I believe it goes all the way, yeah, 7.5 miles per hour and it was very easy to set up. This one does have like Bluetooth and it also has an app that you can sync with your treadmill and your phone but I honestly don't really use the app. Both of them are amazing. I definitely can see benefits with just walking on the first one. And obviously I'll see more benefits because I'll be running a little bit more on the new one. I would say my new one is slightly more loud than the first one. I don't think it's super noticeable. And I also don't have any like downstairs neighbors, so it's not like a big deal to me if it's super noisy, but I just wanted to make a note of that. So some of the benefits I have seen is is, you know just better overall digestion with my body because you're being so stagnant most of the time if you are working from like a desk job I work from like a 2.5 pace to like a three miles per hour pace that's kind of my sweet spot there I can very easily type and stuff on that speed and I can walk 10,000 steps a day easily when I'm doing that and I really love it because you can do it any time of day that you want to and you don't have to rely on the weather outside i live in georgia and right now it's the summertime and it's so hot and it's been raining a lot and so i can't rely on walking outside that much so it is amazing that i just have this and i can use it really whenever i want to and i love that I can use it while I'm working too. How I used to be is like I would work the whole day and then I would exercise in the evening and that also just kind of like spikes your cortisol and like you're moving your body really vigorously in just like a small period of time in the evening whereas now I'm moving my body pretty consistently like throughout the whole day and so you know I'm getting the benefits of lymphatic drainage, my digestion health is better and I have noticed a difference in the muscle tone of my legs specifically like my thighs and my calves I would say that they're a lot more defined than they used to be just because I'm using them more and I'm walking more I will say that the treadmills that I have they don't calculate the steps on the actual 
pad like on the display but you know they tell you how many miles that you've gone you can do like a rough estimate calculation with the amount of miles that you go i try to do about four miles a day but sometimes i get that sometimes i don't i will say i during the week like monday through friday I am hitting that 10,000 step goal pretty much every single week. It's a very rare week if I'm not hitting that every single day during Monday through Friday. On the weekends, I'm a little bit more lenient and I'm also out and about a lot more on the weekends, um, walking outside, doing things with friends, things like that. So I'm not like strictly on my walking pad, walking for like over an hour, you know? It is there if I need it, which is awesome. The last thing that I wanna talk about in this video are all the benefits that you can get from walking and this goes for like walking outside too obviously but just having a walking pad it makes it so accessible to walk whenever you want and there are so many benefits especially with your gut health so it can actually reduce inflammation in the body and especially in your gut microbiome and so this helps reduce your risk of certain types of diseases it can help you reduce your stress and it also boosts the endorphins and serotonin which can improve your mood it can help you go to the bathroom more frequently if you have a hard time doing that and it also helps with better digestion especially if you go for a walk like for 10 minutes after a meal this can help things go down a little bit more smoothly and it can help things like bloating and any kind of discomfort that you may have in your stomach I think the most important thing is just to be consistent with this and whether you're hitting 10,000 steps a day or 5,000 steps a day I think it's just best to move your body every single day and be consistent with it. So I think that's the most important thing, whether you're walking or you're doing other sorts of exercises, just getting your body moving in whatever way works for you is gonna be amazing and beneficial for your longevity and your health and your heart health, your digestion health, your brain health. Everything can function optimally as long as you are moving your body. And so I encourage you to do that in every way that you possibly can. I personally love walking, I love Pilates, I love weight training, yoga, anything like that. I have definitely been leaning more towards walking because it's better for your cortisol and better for your knees and things like that. So I definitely prefer walking, but I love weight training as well. I try to weight train at least three, four times a week, um, but I am trying to walk every single day. So if you do work from home, I would say definitely get it. I actually just don't have any bar stools in my kitchen and I use the treadmill under my bar. Not saying that you should do that, but if you don't have a standing desk or anything like that, that's okay. If you have like a bar or a table that kind of sticks out a little bit, I literally just have this crate, this like wooden crate and I set my laptop on it and I work from there. Um, I was working like like on top of a stack of books so you can really make it work it doesn't have to look fancy and obviously like when people come over or if I'm having like a party or something I'll just move it out of the way because they are on wheels and so it makes it really convenient to just kind of store it away somewhere I will link the two treadmills that I talked about in this video down below and that's it for the video I hope you liked it give it a like if you did get your steps in get walking get moving and yeah don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me I I post a lot about gut health and just living a healthy lifestyle and my journey with that. So yeah, give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.